After living 20 some years in a lovely home on the main line, we wanted to do something completely different. That old home was energy inefficient. It was dark. It had no insulation. A lovely home, but we wanted to do something that really celebrated the environment of living in the woods. And we had an opportunity, starting with a clean sheet of paper, to, to do things completely different. In our role as the green building or sustainability consultants, uh, our job was to bring everybody together and to look at this from an integrated process, again, starting with the land. And we, early on, we met with Barney and Nancy and identified goals. You know, we wanted to understand exactly what they wanted in the home. Not so much the look or the feel, more so about what was their expectations for the performance of the home, how did they want it to function from an energy efficiency standpoint, uh, health-wise, indoor environmental quality, you know, daylighting, those kind of things. We didn't quite know what we wanted, so we brought in Tad, we brought in Matthew to inspire us with the design. They've worked together before, and then we brought in the builder way before the design was even complete. In the architectural process, the first thing we do is we listen. And if you listen really well, you empathize. So I understood Barney and Nancy as far as what they wanted was not something that existed. That's very exciting, right? And then I wanted to listen to the site and see what it had to say about this. So I came out here with my daughter. We set up a campsite. We made a campfire, set up our little tent, and then the rumble of thunder. There was a massive thunderstorm rolling into the site and we're in this little tent. Trees are moving, branches are falling, frightening. And you felt so frail on this site because it's not like a suburban existence. This is out in the woods. Sustainability is a ubiquitous term that means a lot of things to a lot of people. For uh, Nancy and myself, it meant building a home that is healthy, uses recycled materials whenever possible, but more importantly, that's a durable home. I don't want to build a home that I'm going to have to put in a landfill in 50 years. I want a home that's going to last 200 years. The idea of sustainability really begins to assist the design process. When you're talking about orientation, when you're talking about thermal mass, when you're talking about recycled materials, all of these fall within the umbrella of sustainability. The fact that we're getting daylighting and free heat from the sun in the winter and we're able to passively cool this building in the summer and spring and shoulder season is just tremendous. The solar panels that were generating electricity, insulated concrete forms, very uh, tight construction, high R value, the SIP roof, uh, the geothermal heating and cooling system, the neat thing about it is the electricity produced from the solar panels is basically providing the energy to heat and cool to the building. How do you passively vent it? Cupolas, stair towers. How do you reuse materials? The recycled content on the exterior of the building for the metal siding, the timbers that were used in this freestanding superstructure for the stair was a tree that was taken down at Barney's property because it was dying and we sawed it on the site on the main line and brought it out here. The thing I see really with an integrated process where we're working closely with the homeowner and the architect is you early on establish relationships that build a level of trust and teamwork that really gets people to own the project from the beginning to the end and have a stake in it more than just a job. The idea comes out of understanding the client and understanding the site and then you have to come up with an idea that's strong enough to keep all these people, all these talented people on the design team, that they can buy into it, but feel like it's a strong enough idea that it's worthy of their time. It's another thing to get these people involved in such a way that they feel like they're bringing a sense of craft to the project. We trusted one another, we empowered one another, empowering people to participate in the design of a home from the very early stages goes a long way into getting them invested in the process to get them excited about working on the process. In the end, we've got this marvelous example of the best of what everybody can bring to the table.